Hello, in this visual basic video, I am going to show you menus. So there are a few different components for menu. Let me just show you. So if you go to toolbox, type in menu, you got a menu strip, you got context menu strip. So the context menu strip just displays like a short menu when the user right clicks somewhere on the menu. We're not really interested on that. in that. I want you to do that as an extra task, actually to improve your skills, we are just going to deal with the menu strip. So if I add that, it's automatically added to the top. So if I just put in here, so you know, that general sort of format is like file, put D-I-L-W in there. So file, and, and one of the sub-menu items could be the new, obviously just because I'm naming these file, new, open, save, doesn't mean they have to do anything. That is actually left for the programmer to do something. So I'm gonna call this menu two, and I'm gonna call this sub one, and then you could go even deeper into it. So I could say sub sub one, sub sub two, and I'll leave it as it is. So if I start it, let's see what we get. So we got a file, and it's representing like a real sort of application. But at the moment, these don't do anything. And naturally, they wouldn't because we haven't coded it. If we, you know, were to, you know, go off here, and we could actually code, you know, this sort of feature into it if we wanted to. So if we go to File, double click it, and now when that button is clicked, some code will run. I'm gonna leave it up to you to, you know, implement different pieces of functionality. The main one that I actually want you to do is an exit function so when you double click or when you single click the exit function it'll run this code and this will close the application down it's not too hard i'm pretty sure you should be able to figure it out if you can't feel free to pop me a message and i will assist you with this and as usual thank you for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next programming video